Greetings YouTube, Simon here and welcome to my next Final Fantasy VIII Remastered Guide. Now today we are going to be getting the Alexander Guardian Force. A Guardian Force you do not want to miss because if you do you cannot get him until later on then, in fact the final dungeon of this 4 and he has access to some very powerful abilities that we're going to want to use. So, when you make your way to the end of this 2, this is when this Guardian Force will be available to us for the first time. Now, there's going to be a couple of battles at the end of this 2. The first is going to be a solo battle against Cypher. Solo on his side, not on ours. And you don't actually draw uh, Alexander from him, but I've mentioned him because it is worth noting that you can mug him for some Mega Phoenixes, which are useful in various ways. So make sure you do that. And then if, like me, you're going for Renoa's ultimate weapon, make sure you take the mug command off your character before uh, engaging the next battle. So as soon as we've defeated Cypher here, make sure you unequip that mug command. Shortly after, you're going to have your final encounter begin of this 2. Now, this encounter is a two-phase fight, the first phase of which is a battle against Cypher once more. Does he ever learn his lesson? Apparently, he does not. Now, this first phase is very, very simple. Cypher is utterly abysmal, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know how he's ended up being the sorceress's aid. He's just useless, he really is. Anyway, he doesn't have any new magics to draw, and the fact that we've taken Mug off our ability list is irrelevant since his drop table and mug table are the same here. As you can see, a single, uh, Ren not Renzakugan, a single Gunblade attack from Squall will do the trick there. And that will kick off the second phase of the encounter, this time against a Hadea, Hadea herself. Now, Hadea will have that Alexander Guardian Force, and it's very important that you draw it, because if you do not do so throughout this fight, then you will not be able to get Alexander until much later on in the game, as I mentioned. So once you've drawn Alexander, you can then just proceed through the fight as normal. You don't need to mug Adia. If you do, I think you get the hero item, which is a nice item. But if, like me, you're going for Renoa's ultimate weapon, then you really do need that force arm list, which Adia drops, I believe, 100% of the time. Now, one thing you can do for this encounter to make it easier is junction 100 sleeps to your status attack. And if you can do that pretty much on all three party members, well, she's not going to wake up at all. Um, I don't have it on Squall, but that's fine. The other two are able to keep her asleep long enough for Squall to finish her off. So, a nice easy encounter, and you will get that Force Armlet as a reward, so long as you didn't mug her. Uh, the Holy War is the drop from Cypher. And we now have everything we need from these encounters. We have the 8 Mega Phoenix. We have the Alexander Guardian Force, and we have the Force Armless. So a perfect end to this too. Now, I mentioned that Alexander has some nice abilities, and this is really important because if you want the Doom Train Guardian Force later on, and trust me, you want the Doom Train Guardian Force, then you're going to need to learn a couple of abilities with Alexander. The first is Med Data, and we need to learn this as a prerequisite for the next ability, which is Med Level Up. Now, Med Data costs a whopping 200 AP, which you can go and find some Cactuars if you want to, but I've even got a shortcut for that as well. If you've been following along with my previous videos, you should have the Leviathan card. This is one from Joker when doing the CC group quest, which we did on this too, but you can do so now since we still have access to Balam Garden. You can check out my previous videos on that topic if you wish to do so. Now, with the Leviathan card, we can actually use the card mod ability to refine it into a useful item. Well, actually, it gives us three items, but we only need one. So, out of those three dot codes we just got, we're going to teach one of them to our Alexander Guardian Force. And what that is going to do is give Alexander the Med Data ability immediately without having to farm the 200 AP. Now, by learning that immediately, we can then straight away start focusing on the Med Level Up ability instead of having to learn its prerequisite first. And I strongly recommend that you do that because then with that Med Level Up ability, we'll be able to get the six remedy plus items that we'll need in order to get the aforementioned doom train guardian force which as i say is a guardian force you're going to want in your collection all right then folks there's plenty of other things i could say but we'll keep all that for future videos so i hope this has helped you if it has don't forget to drop a like and please do come back soon for more final fantasy 8 remastered take care everybody have a great day see you next time